ever told. Now it was one week before signing day. It only had one offer on the table. And that was UTIP. They wanted me to play defense, but I was strictly committed to playing quarterback. So I had this meeting to set up with this booster. Now he promised me a couple things that I wasn't quite so sure about. I'm just gonna go ahead and meet him and see what he had to say. And one thing he did say, that I believed in him, and if I trusted him, colleges would start flooding in. So y'all, I'm just gonna have to see what he gonna say. It sounds too good to be true. I mean, every kid wants to, you know, play for their dream school. You know what I mean? Hometown, I'm from Texas. I mean, get the offer from a and the Longhorns. Yo, that would be a blessing in the sky for any kid. You know what I mean? He set the vibe off kind of smooth, you know what I mean? Down to earth kind of guy. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, yeah. Mind you, I'm not listening. I'm thinking about this damn money on this table. You know what I mean? So he, he was talking a lot of good game. But like I say, back my mind, it seemed too good to be true. It definitely seemed too good to be true. And I did promise you, man, he gonna keep it under wraps. Nobody would never, never find, find this out. And I agreed to it, y'all. He promised me one thing. I will not be riding that old beat up ass hoopty no more. He gave me a gift. And that gift, yo, <laughs> hey, what would you do if you was in my shoes? Turning down a car like this? Man, get real. I had to accept the deal. All right, folks, welcome back, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that little short intro, man. We got the surprisingly, man, number two, Iowa State. Now, Robinson take the handle. I know somebody said we definitely had to get Robinson some more carries in. We definitely will, man. We definitely will, man. I just sometimes I just get too trigger happy being that last year we was kind of run the first team, you know what I mean? And Robinson goes up to cut for six, man. We take the early seven nothing lead. It's surprising to see them at number two. You know what I mean? They got a squad though, man. And for a split second, we get it out to more, but for a split second, bro, that green light would just, it was just like, hey, just go, just run. You know what I mean? But we just not always trying to do running highlight videos, man. Like I said, we are feeding the beast this game, bro. We are feeding the beast. You know what I mean? I forgot which, which subscriber said that, bro. Yeah, you, you was right for that subscriber that watched this, bro. Yes, we got to get Robinson some more carries, but... We gonna feed the beast in this game, bro. Let's go, let's go, man. And you know, big shout out to John Jake Gaming. You know, um, yo, this, I forgot. I can't think of that subscriber name. <laughs> I cannot think of that subscriber name. It's gonna drive me crazy. You know what I mean? But big shout out to Cole on the sticks, the regular on on the on the channel, man. Shamar Baker, that's his name, man. Big shout out to you, man coal on the sticks you know what i mean the, the whole franchise guru man big shout out to y'all right here that's what i say we cannot call him mr reliable because so we call him sometimes reliable because you know them easy catches he 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 you know he should make them plays you know I mean? he make the impossible plays but in little simple plays he just cannot convert, but Jake Smith, like I said, if he can't do it, Jake Smith, man, he he, he is definitely Mr. Reliable, or sure-handed right receiver. And you can see they are doing a lot of shifting and moving, a lot of blitz and trying to get us off target, but we're going to stand strong, man. Woodard with a nice catch set up first and goal, and just like that, your boy Xavier is in the end zone, man, as we are running away with this, despite them trying to you know what I mean? Mix up different coverages. And yo, like I say, Smith is Mr. Reliable, man. Even though he's at number two, he's slowly creeping into that wide receiver one position, bro. We did not see that coming, man. I hate that for a passion, bro. It's like your line go from blocking good, then it goes from like getting your damn head blown off. Like it just happened. You know what I mean? Sometimes I edit I out those plays. But I'm like, you know what? Let's keep the bad plays in there. And look at this, bro. 
is we just had to get rid of that one, man. The offensive line is trying to kill us, man. But third and goal right here, we are running for our life right here. And we could have ran it in, but yes, go. We get it in for a 12-yard reception to Joshua Moore. I mean, like I said, they are doing a lot of blitzing. A lot of blitzing, man. We're going to do what we do best, man. We're going to use our legs, and we're going to pick up 14 in a first down. Move the chains. Bump one on the outside. Yo, we got that. Woodard with a nice catch, bro. Let's go. And our defense is definitely, definitely, I'm not going to speak too highly on them, but because we ranked, you know, 100th in the nation in, you know, pass defense. But our defense doing a real good job. And right here, look at that dot, y'all. Chat, damn it, it wasn't a fucking dot. With a 22 yard reception, bro. Like, let's go. And I don't know if y'all know, but we not gonna have Xavier not gonna have those, you know, Texas Tech, Washington State kind of passing stats. You know what I mean? Four and five hundred yards a game. Nah, bro. We're gonna balance it out. And right here, first and ten as the second quarter winding down. They are the most blitzing team, and I wanted to throw that sooner, but that safety, I knew he would have broke up the pass. So time runs out and we did not get a chance to add three that's okay but we up by 32 right now so we, we good man we good like right, first attempt make a lot of adjustments at the line and showing off that arm strength let's go look at the dot smith let's go smith i'm, I'm telling y'all he yo he the coach need to put him move up move him up in the depth chart bro and right here, we get it out to Robinson, and he picks up 22 in the first time, bro. We are cooking right now. We are cooking right now, bro. We over 337-yard passing right here. Ooh, we just, we have yet to break one this game, man. He picks up 10 in the first down. Don't read option. Good block. Oh, let's go. He <laughs> That's a touchdown, y'all. That is a touchdown. Let's go. You only bottle this kid up, bottle this kid up. You can't do it for the whole game, man. As Robinson takes the handoff and he goes for 10 and they first down. I don't know why they call it 10 and second inch, bro. He got 10 yards. Bro, I'm telling you, this dude is running hard. Like, yo, let's go, man. Pick up of 17. 34 up the gut again. Robinson, bro. We just going to keep feeding the beast, man. Fourth and three, y'all know we take chances here in Austin, Texas, even though we're not at home. You know what I mean? Xavier picks up 14 in the first down. We option up the gut. They only goes for four. All right, third and seven, bro. 20 rush shisha attempts, nearly cracking at 150. And yo, like I said, I'm listening to y'all, bro. Get this kid the ball, and that's that exactly what I did, bro. And that was an easy cakewalk game, bro. Easy cakewalk game. As we continued our winning streak, keeping our winning streak alive. Look at that dot, bruh. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all to death, man. Y'all already know who it is, man. No explanation needed for the, but for the new folks, man. It's Create C8, the real create. How you want to call me? Until next time, I'm going.